Fantastic. Hi Fabio, uh, you've been with Arsenal for nine months now and in the last two or three months you're playing more games, more minutes. Are you feeling very comfortable, very settled here now in North London? Uh, I feel comfortable here uh, after a few months. I can say I feel at home here, I feel conf confident and, and comfortable and uh, I'm really enjoying to be, to be here and ready to, to go forward. Was it a difficult start for you at the beginning? Because when you arrived, and when we were in America, you had the injury. Did that make it difficult for you in the beginning? Yes, of course. Uh, I arrived with, with an injury. And of course, it's always different for a new player. Arrive here in a new country, different culture. Everything is, is different. So yes, hard for me. But after a few months, I, I'm ready and uh, enjoying and I'm devel I develop a lot and uh, I'm here to, to help the team. And has the manager given you a lot of confidence through this process of your development? Has he been speaking to you, talking to you, giving you encouragement that you're important in his plans? Yes, from the beginning he, he spoke to me and uh, he told me what he expects from, from me. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, he told me what I can do uh, on the team and uh, help the team as much as I can and uh, he's always tried to, to help me on the pitch and, and outside. Thanks Jake. Simon? Fabio, um, the English game is obviously very, very physical. How have you found adapting to that coming from Portugal and playing in England? It's different. Uh, in, Engl in England it's more physical, um, Portugal more technical. Uh, it's you. You have to. You have to adapt. Of course, it's different uh, types of of game, and uh, yeah. But as I said before, now after a few months, uh, I develop a lot, and uh, I'm improving a lot uh, every day, and uh, to try to to do my best. Is it, is it something you have worked on changing your diet, changing how you work in the gym to to adapt? It's the way I work on the gym, of course, and on the pitch. I think the most important thing is on the pitch, is there where, where you play. And, uh, of course, outside the pitch, it's very important as well. You need to, to, to improve your, your physical, and uh, I'm improving. Um, Fabio, some people think you're being um, moulded in the same way that Pep did with Bernardo Silva at Manchester City. Do you see that comparison? Is he a player that you admire? Yeah, of course I, I admire him. He's an extraordinary player. I know him from from Portugal. He plays before in Benfica, and I know him very well. Uh, yeah, I think we are uh, similar players with uh, with uh, similar uh, qualities as well. And yes, of course I admire him. Is he, did you talk to him about moving to England? Did no, no, we don't. He don't talk to me. No, no, no. But do you see yourself being able to have the same impact at Arsenal that he's had at Manchester City? Uh, I think, of course, I I arrive here with an injury. It's always dif difficult for any player, and we are always one step behind. And uh, yeah, I improve a lot. I work a lot, and. Uh, I think this is a question of, of time to, for me to, to be there and help the team and show my qualities to, to the fans and that's it. You talked about it being a technical league in Portugal. When Martin Odegaard came from Spain, it was a similar situation. It probably took him six months to really adapt to English football and show what he can do. Is he sort of almost like a role model for you in terms of what he has done at Arsenal. Sorry, can you repeat please? When Martin Odegaard, it took him maybe six months to adapt to English football and play his best football. And now he's, doing, he's showing that he can be a technical player in English football. <clears throat> do you think you can do the same thing? Has he sort of shown you what can be done here? Yes, as I said, uh, it's a question of time, you know. You have to, to improve your body, your, your capacities, your qualities. And I'm improving a lot uh, on, the, on the gym, for example, to, to be better in my physical. 
And yes, in Spain, in Portugal, is a similar type of the game, very technical. Here is different, is more physical. And for me and for the skinny players, is more difficult, you know. So yes, we have to improve and uh, wait for our chances to, to show our qualities. You are very similar in style to Martin Odegaard. Can, can you play in the same team or is it always going to be one or the other? Yeah, we can play in the same team. Uh, I think we are very similar. We are both uh, left foot, so we we have a lot of qualities, you know. And uh, yeah, I I admire him a lot, and uh, we can uh, we can help and we can learn from each other. You used to play again as the Sporting when you were playing with Sport on the and the Portugal. How do you think this will be motivated you tomorrow? And do you have any advice for your colleagues and Arsenal how to play against the Portuguese team from your experience? Yeah, uh, I play against them, of course, a lot of times in Portugal. I know them very well. I know the players. I know the, the coach as well. They have a good team, good team, and uh, they are well organized. So, But we know we, we have been working during this week. We know what we can expect from the game and we know what we want from the game. So we have to be in our eye focused to, to beat them and uh, we need to, to attack their, their box as much as we can to, to score. Rob Holden joked on his social media about your ghost foul. <laughs> How much have you enjoyed settling in at Arsenal with your teammates? How well do you get on with them? I think we have a good relation, a good friendship between us. We are always joking each, with each other and this is very important um, in the teams. So, yeah, that game was <laughs> was a fault, was not fault, but <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I think the spirit on the on the around the the team is good and uh, this is very important for us. You can see the spirit on the training ground watching today. Uh, Gabriel Jesus was out there smiling with you and the rest of the team. How important is it that he's back now fighting fit? Yeah, he's a very special player. Everyone knows him. He has a lot of qualities. He can bring us a lot of qualities. And we are very happy, of course, to, for him to, to be back. And uh, he's one, uh, one more player to, to help us to, to win. And finally, the Europa League. How much of a, how much of a competition is it being prioritised by you as the players compared to the Premier League uh, in the title race? Yeah, we need to think. Uh, I think uh, we have to think step by step and game by game. You know, uh, we are. We have been doing a, a great job so far, and uh, we have to keep doing with the same focus, thinking game by game and. Uh, of course, we want to to win the Premier League and we want to win the Europa League as well. So, but we need to go step by step. Welcome to the Kai. Hi, Fabio. Speaking of your teammates as well, one person you seem to have struck up a really good relationship with is Gabriel Martinelli. Yeah. That seemed to happen pretty instantly at the start. What was it about him that you guys sort of immediately clicked? I didn't know him before I came to to Arsenal. Uh, we met in Germany in the pre-season, and we start to talk. And uh, this is this is what was the connection from the beginning. So I, I cannot explain. <laughs> so yeah, but I really like him. He's a good guy, good good person. He is very humble and with a good heart. And on the pitch, we saw in the last minute against Aston Villa your assist for him. You seem to celebrate that a little bit extra, even. Are you hoping to have more moments like that on the pitch with him now? Yeah, of course. As I said, I'm I'm here to to help the team as much as I can. I I like to assist my my teammates, and if I have chances to do, I will I will assist. And it was him, and I was very happy to to him to to score. Just one late back. Hi, Fabio. What would you say your biggest challenge has been this season, reflecting on that year so far? My big, sorry. His challenge. Personally, or yeah, personally first. I want to, I want to, to develop a lot, to improve a lot 
in my in my physical, in my defensive defensive positional. I think I can be better, and I'm here to to do to do it. I'm, I want to to be part of this team. I want to to be there to help them, and uh, of course I want to to win the Premier League. This is a, a dream come true. So I want to win the the both competitions, European League and the, and the Premier League. This and is my aspiration. Very last one over here, please. Fabio, when you say it is more difficult for skinny players, what is the biggest problem? Is it the, the physical power you need or the fact that the English football is so physical? What is it about being skinny that is more difficult? No, I think uh, when you don't have the physical, you have the intelligence, you know. Uh, I, I'm an intelligent player. And as I said before, I just need to 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 improve my my positional, you know, my position on the on the pitch, to to create more space for me and to to get assists or or goals.